Have you ever wondered where Puerto Rico's fresh milk comes from? In this video, we travel to the countryside to visit a dairy farm with some very friendly cows. Then we check out one of Puerto Rico's only German restaurants in a very traditional sausage stand. The mountains of Puerto Rico are full of wonders. Please subscribe so you can find out all about them. We're setting up our day at Martinez Dairy. We're going to take the vaca tour or the cow tour where they teach you all about milk production and you even get to pet cows and feed cows. So we're super excited because in the pictures the cows look super adorable. And at the end of the tour you get to, to sample their fresh homemade ice cream. Excited for that part too. <laughs> The tour starts out at the nursery, an area used for the youngest calves. Here they feed the cows with milk and nutrients and protect them from predators like stray dogs. When each cow is 40 days old and has its immune system well developed, she gets moved to the colonies, our next stop. It's so much fun to pet the little baby cows and observe their unique personalities. This vaqueria has two different types of dairy cows, the Holstein, which is the famous black and white milk cow, and the Jersey brown cow. They also have a few brown meat cows which are leaner. The Holstein cows are the biggest and produce the most milk. In the colonies, the young cows stop consuming milk and start eating a hay-based diet. The cows stay here until they are full grown and ready to start their professional milk careers. Something interesting that we learned on the tour is that in Puerto Rico, dairy cows suffer from heat stress, which is why they produce much less milk than what a cow in Wisconsin would make. For us, the highlight of the tour was getting to feed the young cows fresh grass. Look how cute and friendly they are! <laughs> the cows follow a daily routine and actually know when and where to line up to get milked. On the tour, you'll learn all about how the cows get milked and why it's a very hygienic and safe process that's also comfortable for the cow. The tour also offers really interesting information on how the cows are bred for their unique characteristics. At the end of the tour, you can buy t-shirts, cheese, and homemade ice cream. Now we're gonna try this fresh ice cream! I'm so excited! <laughs> Let's see. This is so creamy, I can't even believe it's ice cream. It's like ice cream mousse. This is like the best thing ever. Oh my goodness, I've never had something like this. It's like mousse ice cream. Holy moly! Whoa! Next, we go deeper into the hills of central Puerto Rico to Morovis to eat at Casa Bavaria. These mountains are full of beautiful rivers, caves, and hidden waterfalls. Nestled within these gorgeous green vistas, you'll find Casa Bavaria, an authentic German restaurant. We're at Casa Bavaria, a German restaurant in Morovis, Puerto Rico. It's a beautiful restaurant, even it has a mango tree right in the middle of it. And we're about to decide what we're going to order. We're all going to order German food. And I'm super excited because they actually had a selection of non-alcoholic beers, so I don't have to be left out. And this one is a grapefruit beer. It's really good. It tastes a lot like their Sherpa Harper, but without alcohol. Amazing! <laughs> Casa Bavaria has an extensive selection of beers, traditional German cuisine, as well as Puerto Rican food options. So we already ate some amazing appetizers. The potato salad was amazing and everybody loved the sauerkraut. And now, we're trying the Jaeger schnitzel. Spetzel. What is yours called? Medallions. Oh, those are the medallions. That looks so good. So let's see. Spetzels are like, whoa. They're like egg noodles. They're really good. We head 
to a chinchorreo to pick up some tasty sausages. This is a Rancho de Don Nando. It's a very traditional chinchorreo restaurant that sells typical sausages. This is a longanisa, which is a all-natural sausage made of chicken or pork. This is a morcilla, which is a blood sausage. That's really popular here. And you can see above me these amazing smoked meats. I really want to try the smoked meats. They look amazing. So they make everything and smoke everything here. It has a, a great family atmosphere and a beautiful fresh air. It's a really fun place to visit. So I'm going to try the smoked longanisa. Oh, it's really good. It's so flavorful and a little crunchy on the outside. The casing is actually really delicious. It's just like chicken skin, kind of. It's really good. These smokehouse-style restaurants can be found all over the countryside of Puerto Rico, and they're an important part of the local culture. Chinchorreos along the road often sell fresh produce, fruits, and plants as well. Puerto Rico is a wonderful place to take a road trip since you can always find a scrumptious food to try or a gorgeous natural area to explore and you get to enjoy the vibrant culture and warm hospitality of the Puerto Rican people. Please be sure to subscribe to explore this beautiful island with us and find some ideas for your next Puerto Rico road trip.